Hey guys, what is going on? It's Flashfire, and this is an updated video to my LEGO Iron Man mock. Um, I, it has doubled the size that it previously was, which is pretty cool. Uh, there's a lot of details from the MCU in here, as well as a bunch of things that I just wanted to put in to make it look cool. So let's start with this section over here that is very similar to how it was previously. So let's look at this. So here's the first little bit of my mock. Um, the right side is very similar to how it was before. Um, I have the desk over here with a little keyboard on it, as well as the tiny little Ant-Man figure. Let's just pull that whole thing off. It has a small little Ant-Man figure on there, represent the Quantum Realm suits, as well as a little keyboard there. And over here, we have the little hollow screen that came from the, um, the Iron Man Hall of Armor, I believe. It has Jarvis on it, which is very cool. We have a couple more things over there. We have a little staircase on this side that you guys have seen before. If you have not, go check out my other video. It just comes out like that and attaches to clear pieces right there. Just click that on. There we go. And then we have the Happy Hogan minifigure, which is not very accurate. It was from the Spider-Man Far From Home sets. And then we have a rack over here that has a fire extinguisher and a wrench on it for Tony's various needs. And we have the hot rod from the extension pack to the Hall of Armor. Pretty cool, very square, but has a Stark um, license plate on the back. And then we have the newest Pepper Potts minifigure, which I did not have before, from the Ironmonger set. Just stand and looking at the armors. And we have various pieces of armors around. There's one right here. It's supposed to represent prototypes for various armors, as well as a black um, Iron Man headpiece. And there are some legs over here. This is from the Mark I. I had an extra set, put them over there. And then in the armor displays, we have the Mark V, the prime armor that we've been getting with the new helmet. We have the Mark 41 and the Mark 47 from Spider-Man Homecoming. Also in the middle of the room here, I, I added like a little latch that you can take off and you can like hide little stuff down there. I don't have anything down there right now but that's pretty cool. And on the side here, we have a reference to the movies where Iron Man makes a new element, and that's kind of cool. As well as a re another reference to the movies down here, we have a cheeseburger right down here. And he has a little blender over here as well. Now, one cool thing that I showed in the other video is how you can take the armors out. Let's do that right now. You pull this side up, and you can just take this piece off. And then the armors come right out because they come from the Hall of Armor, so I wanted to be able to make them removable so I can add them back to that set whenever I want to. So easily you just do that. And then one more thing I added were these Stark drones up here from the Spider-Man jet as well from Far From Home. Now, moving on to the more interesting part of the set, which is the new things that I added. And most of it is the Hall of Armor, honestly. So let's look at those first. You can see up here we have a little satellite dish, as well as a War Machine helmet from the Helicarrier. And then moving to this middle section, you can just pull this whole part out. We have the Mark One, the what I call Mark Two. Um, the Mark III from the Ironmonger set, and the Tony Stark minifigure. And he has like a little hollow projection on his face right now. I think that's cool even without the helmet, because it makes it look like he's just like controlling an armor. And then looking down here, we have the Mark 50 from Infinity War, of course, and the Mark 85 
from Endgame. And then right here we have Dummy with a fire extinguisher, putting out a little fire right there. And then moving on over here. This is a combination of two War Machine armors. It is from the Helicarrier, um, the body and all the accessories to it. But the helmet is from the War Machine Buster set. Um, it looks a little bit like this. As you can see that. That's another one of the Iron Man type sets that we've gotten. Down here, we have Iron Man in his Quantum Realm suit. That's a cool little detail to have just him sitting there like he kept the armor. And then right here is a box. Um, it also comes from the Iron Monger set. There's a lot of stuff from the Iron Monger set that I was able to use with this. I call it the box of scraps, of course. And then over here, we have another module from the extension. It's just a little place for Iron Man to look at a mini version of his suit, testing, prototyping, stuff like that. And the final part over here is Iron Man's little like weapon rack. He has another wrench. He has a jet pack from his Mark I, which you can use on that suit. And he also has a, bl a red blaster. Interesting color for that uh, piece. Not sure if we've gotten that before. And he also has a little like hologram. I don't know what to call that, but it's like a little blast piece that he can attach to an armor. So this is pretty cool. This is double the size of my previous Hall of Armor, which is very, very nice. And hopefully I can keep updating it and making it bigger. But some other Iron Man suits that did not fit in this, I will show you right now. So these two Iron Man suits, the Infinity War Hulkbuster, as well as this Iron Man suit, uh, Igor, I believe it's called. Uh, I could not fit in the mock at all, so I'm just showing you them separately. Uh, I've made a video on both of these, actually, um, with the sets that they come in. But here you can just take a look at them right here. And two more that I could not include in this because they are way too big is the War Machine Buster and the new 2021 Iron Monger, which is massive and it has Obadiah's Stain in it. You can check out my review video of this set if you want to a closer look at it. But here is the minifigure. Uh, no printing on the back, just that front little bit, which is pretty cool. And the helmet's open just as all the other ones do, which is pretty cool. Um, and another little bit that I did not add to the mock, I actually took it out from last time is the little pedestal to get the Iron Man suit on. Uh, last time I had a whole thing in the middle where you could put it on, but that took up way too much space in the thing, so I just left it off this time so that it looks more open. So, hope you guys like the mock. Um, if you want more, I can keep updating the mock, make it look better, but I thought that this was a nice time to show more of it because I added pretty, pretty much double uh, what I added last time, which is very, very nice. Um, hope you guys like the video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos, more mock videos, reviews, time-lapse videos of building sets. We all do pretty cool stuff over here. So like the video, uh, as I said, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.